Normally, I'll start out the vlog with a merch plug of my own, but today I want to do something different and help out my buddy Jack. His clothing company is called Enthusiast. This is his no warranty, no worries shirt. Check out his YouTube channel and his Instagram. I bet you guys weren't expecting that as an introduction, huh? So, Mike, Street Speed 717 said it himself. Thank you very much, buddy, for the shout out. I really appreciate it. I am glad to see that you are enjoying your threads. It is currently the crack ass of dawn and I'm wearing one of the new enthusiast apparel hoodies as well as the new enthusiast apparel hat. Not looking for a hoodie? It's all good. We got the red shirt. Or the no warranty, no worries with a camo hat. Or our passion over priorities with a black trucker hat. Or the iconic blow money shirt with the black flat brick. Are you trying to bulk up for the winter time? We got long sleeves too. So most of you are probably aware by now, but we are giving away a brand new GoPro 5 and a MacBook Pro and some Benjamins and some merchandise over at Enthusiast. So for every $5 that you purchase on any merchandise, you get automatically entered to win one of these things. And trust us guys, this is the first giveaway of many with Enthusiast. And last, but certainly not least, of course, if you do want my merch, like the sunglasses I'm wearing or the shirt that I wear a lot of the time, you can get it at InShaneDesigns.com. The link is down below. The first link in the description. Key tags are the second link. Wouldn't be a Street Speed video unless we plug some merch right away. So head on over and check out Street Speed's gear. It's something that you definitely won't be disappointed in. Yep, got all my camera gear in there, my 50 millimeter lens, my drone, all of my drone accessories, my GoPro, my GoPro batteries, my extra DSLR batteries, and ammunition. Yes, that's in there, and I'm sure that you can imagine why, but I'm not going to tell you, so you're just going to have to find out later in the video. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions about one of two things. First off, why did I not remove my antenna yet? Because I love my slappy antenna, and it's actually very useful. Secondly, I have a Passport 8500. That is the radar detector that I use. A lot of you have been asking about that. Now we're good to go. What would a vlog be without a trip to Wawa? Oh yes, this is such a pleasing feeling. I'm doing my best to stick to my macros by going with the croissant this morning with the sausage, egg, and cheese. Very healthy alternative. And of course, my coffee that I am really not competent sometimes without my caffeine. Then we're gonna go check out an event that I have not attended yet, but I've heard is very promising. It is Lancaster Cars and Coffee. Now, I don't know how it's gonna be today because it's kind of a crappy day. For all you bike lifers, that is Joey T in the flesh right there and i gotta give him credit he is one hell of an audacious rider to come out in weather like this good morning what's up you decided to take the bike i see yeah i didn't want to respond for the choice i gotta say man i think a lot of bike lifers are gonna be proud right now dude i love it and nice hoodie by the way buddy it's so comfortable hell yeah man that's awesome hopefully i, I guess we'll test today's water resistance as well yeah, so <laughs> good <laughs> darling you So we just pulled in the Lancaster cars and coffee. We have our good friend from Diablo Formula Racing, Mr. Grant himself, if you guys don't remember. He's the one, oh my God. He's the one that catered to these wheels right here. We'll leave the hood popped. That way, you know, at least people can get a general gist of the flavor of the truck. It's definitely not an ugly car. Hey! Yo, what's up, brother? Really touching upon my wagon saw spot right now. RIP TDI, because I really, really miss you, TDI. It's my buddy Giovanni's car. Super, super clean M3. He just pro-charged it not too long ago. I think he's still going through his break-in period, but we are going to get this car on the channel and we are going to do a full-blown review on it because it is very deserving. Super, super clean car. Oh are we vlogging the live stream right now? Vlogger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I was telling the audience that I've you know been aware of all these events that have been happening over time, but I haven't had a chance to actually make it out. So I was like, all right, you know, this is full disclosure. I'm not sure what to expect. I've heard great things because Shea is a really, really passionate guy, and he loves what he does. And make really, it work, dude. Assembling this is. I mean, I have a brand enthusiast. Uh, awesome. I sell all my clothing through, and I mean, really, this is the premise of the brand. Yeah. It's just getting people together yep. of all different backgrounds, of all different interests, and pulling them on one united cause. Yes. And, and that's what's so freaking cool. About that's why I got persist, persist. You just, yeah. It's, uh, we started because we wanted little kids to come out, and I had a 13 year old dream that I was going to have supercars. And there you go. Like, no, you're not. And it's only for certain people, and I have them. And so. dude, persistence is one of my core values, man. You have to just keep pushing, 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 even when you're at your lowest. So follow him, Lancaster Cars and Coffee, on Instagram. And do you have any other social media? Yeah, you uh, persist18 on Instagram, and uh, so we're Facebook and Instagram for Lancaster Cars and Coffee 18. And uh, my new one, we're going to start launching a YouTube channel. It's just going to be Persist. All right, perfect. Yeah, it's going to be cars and just motivational speaking there. So, so there you go, guys. Already. You're going to have to go over and support Shay in his new vlogging adventure because we all know that it's an absolutely great time. And all of a sudden, Pat Rowell in the flesh, man. Dude, you said my last name right. Did I say it right? Yeah. Well, that's because my last name everybody butchers, but I'm going to keep that off the vlog because I live anonymously. <laughs> How are you, man? Good, man. How are you? Good turnout. Yeah, it's great turnout, dude. Oh my god, yeah. So, Pat Rowell, everybody, you gotta go give him some love on YouTube and Instagram. Go follow his channel, which is right there. You guys are all familiar with him. Shane is floating around over there. They do have the teal Corvette here, so we'll go over and see that shortly. But I had to see, I just had to see the infamous coal rolling rabbit that has so much character, even in the cracked dash. All right, guys, good event so far. Curtis, it was nice to finally meet your yeah, ass, dude. Too, I feel like, you know, we're friends even though we just oh, yeah. met right now. No doubt. Cause, I hate cause you of the as much as Mike. Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. I mean, I feel like feelings are mutual right now, you know? You just piss me off. Yeah, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Pat, right, as man. always, brother. So part one of the day was a total success. I'm really pleased with the turnout of that event. Shay did a great job of putting that together. He's been working on it for about two years now. And finally, I think there's a great cultivation of local enthusiasts that are getting together. You know, a lot of people ask me, Jack, what is enthusiast? You know, I think a lot of people immediately draw this assumption that it's just a brand associated with a YouTube channel. And really, it's a hell of a lot more than that. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle. It's something that people are very passionate about. It's something that makes people who they are. Without automobiles, without this enthusiasm for what it is that we love with vehicles, I feel as if we wouldn't be who we truly are. Because for me, I know that you know, being an enthusiast makes up a huge part of my personality, a huge part of my character, and it really makes me appreciate a certain specific group of people. As all of the logistics that went into setting up the introduction to this video, because quick pit stop to Lowe's, which is my second favorite big box store, first one being Home Depot. And then you can go this too. So we just got to our location. We are out in a desolate location in a farm field that was just harvested not too long ago. Dirty Max, we got Dura Max, that's Max with the Dura Max, and then Dustin is in front of him in his Subaru. We are going to go out in this field, what we have set up for the celebration that was introduced in the beginning of this video. So sit back and enjoy, it's gonna be a fun one. Did, did you bring me breakfast, Dustin? Nope. Fuck, man. So I eat your Wheaties, bro. <laughs> We're out in this field. And it's basically all ours to do whatever we want with. And you can see the truck is a little dirty right now. And uh, that's basically just the beginning of it. So the plan for the day was to basically come out and... What's up, Blake? Come here. <laughs> Never mind. Um, to celebrate 40,000 subscribers because you all have supported me throughout the entire year of 2017 and I just am very, very appreciative of it. I wanted to mention something earlier in the video, but I wanted to kind of wait until this time to acknowledge the fact. So thank you guys very much for helping us cross 40,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for all the support on the brand. I really, really appreciate it. So <clears throat> you coming to say hi now, buddy? Hey, 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 hey. So what we decided to do was use a beautiful Sunday to basically gather and uh, and do donuts. 
<laughs> so we're gonna spray paint 40,000 in this farm field and then we're gonna take the Duramax and we're gonna do donuts around it in celebration of said event. All right, who wants to paint? From New York City? Ooh, yeah. Here, from my foot is. Blake, move. Come towards my Go foot. Go like straight here. Come towards my foot. Blake! It's not even towards my foot. Four, zero, K. Nice. dirt for a day like that. I gotta say though, that's some good dirt right there. That was probably one of the funnest things that I've ever done to my truck. To date, I must admit. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed it, but at the same time I doubt that you really enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it because I was doing the driving. But anyway, uh, yeah, I gotta say that today's dirt conditions are like perfect. We've had rain the past few days in PA. Uh, it seems like the ground absorbed most of that and it's just like really nice loamy dirt. It's not too muddy, so it's not like the truck is too, too dirty. Uh, you can see that, you know, over time I, I gradually fished some dirt, but it's still pretty loosely packed, so that'll all come off uh, relatively easily. But, you know, I'm really not too worried about it, to be honest, because that was a total freaking blast. Power washer is definitely required, though there is no doubt in my mind about that. So we're gonna head back to Dustin's shop here later in the vlog after we have some fun with what I previewed earlier in the video, which is all of that 
We've got the Nifty 15 that's hidden right down here. And the water bottles you were asking, in case of water, no, that is not for consumptionary hydration purposes. That is more or less for target purpose because we all know that shooting something with some sort of liquid in it is way more fun. Max, thank you for being present in this awesome day, dude. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. He was the man running the drone and now I think that he wants to go buy one. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Is you, you get exposure to this new cool stuff and then you need to go buy it. That's basically what these friends are for. I bought air horns and what'd you just do? I bought air horns. <laughs> it works before you. Yeah. Bye, Max. Love this. To blast back to Dustin's shop, and we're gonna get a nice proper cleaning for the rig because we all know that I can't let my truck sit like that. I'd probably just lose sleep over it or something. Just after he finished up his horn blasters kit, he actually went out and bought one himself. Anybody out there that's interested in getting a set of horns, give Manny at Horn Blasters a buzz. I'm sure that he'd be happy to entertain some sort of a discount for you guys and potentially even throw you some merchandise. Now I have a date with this burly girl. That's right. That's right. Let's go. Well, that about sums up the result of our fun this afternoon. And I don't even think that that's all of it. There's actually more that's probably up in the bumper still, so I'm probably gonna have to take the bumper off. So everybody go check Dustin out on Instagram at DustinR724. Uh, I will put his information right here. Uh, so that about sums up our weekend shenanigans, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks for tuning in with us as always. We're gonna try and get the Duramax washed up as good as we can here in the next few minutes, clean it up, and then I gotta get home to edit this video. Uh, so some final closing notes. I just want everybody to be aware of the fact that the YouTube call out is October 28th. So make sure to clear your calendars and make that event. It's gonna be a really good time. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another mod that's coming for the Duramax. It's through our good friends at Whirly Custom Fabrication. Some of you guys could probably take a guess as to what it is. I'm not gonna give it away because we need to keep it a surprise in the vlog. So if you guys haven't already, check out enthusiast.com, get yourself some threads and get entered for a chance to win the MacBook, the GoPro, $100 or more. We got many more giveaways to come as well. So with that said, everybody have a great night. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.